at the town hall, police said they have seen a significant increase in car rallies in Howard County since October 2020. They announced that there will be changes made in their county in order to address the illegal activity. It's com it's completely changed the way we live our lives in our house. Monday, Howard County residents from both sides of the drag racing discussion came together for a community town hall. Our hope is to make sure that the community sees that it's not all the bad, though they can see the good as well. Jenny Kwan owns Blowfish Poke in Clarksville. She hosts Cars and Coffee Sunset Edition each week. We're having this event to support the local businesses. It's a family friendly gathering and it's very safe. And we've had people uh, call the police and the police would come and nobody is breaking any law whatsoever. She says authorities are made aware before each meetup, but the people who live nearby say the event is anything but family friendly. It's just a lot of loud engines uh, for four or five hours at a time. It makes being outside in our house at our house impossible. People say here in Clarksville and across the county, the problems surround drivers revving modified engines, speeding and street racing. Take the car show to your backyard. Meantime, local car enthusiasts are worried about where the blame is being placed. I'm a car enthusiast and a lot of the kids who are just doing donuts and like blocking off intersections aren't us or any of the people I associate with, so we don't want to be the ones taking the blame for all the bad stuff that's going on. After hearing complaints, police announced they're going to start a new traffic enforcement unit with a team of officers dedicated to handling these issues in Howard County. So officers say expect to see more of them out and about in Howard County. The other result of this meeting is they plan to make a task force so they can make sure all voices are heard on this issue. In Clarksville, I'm Tommy Clark, WBAL TV 11 News.